Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. Peters and um, I am sitting outside on this beautiful day and I thought I would try reading our chapter or the next chapter of Poppy um, from outside here so hopefully there won't be um, any noises that come along but it's pretty quiet around here. So um, wow in chapter 18 um, Mr. Ilkax is now uh, deceased. He no longer exists so a um, very big turn of events. Um, chapter 19 is called The Return, and I assume uh, that has to mean, you know, Poppy's return to her family. So here we go. For a long time, Poppy gazed at the lifeless body of Mr. Okax. She thought she should feel triumphant joy. Plain gladness would have been good enough. Somewhere, she did feel pride, but small as she was, it was very deep. What Poppy felt was weariness, as if she had aged four seasons over the last hour. She felt old. Before her on the grass lay one of Mr. Okax's feathers. Poppy had never really looked at an owl's feather. This one was quite lovely. It was a mottled brown color with a white tuft on top, soft as any baby's breath. She picked it up. In the breeze, the veins stirred slightly. With a sigh, Poppy slipped the feather into her sash. Then she turned and looked at the cornfield. At first, she thought what she most desired was to lie down and sleep. It was growing dark. But a moment's thought made her realize sleep was impossible. What she needed to do was tell someone about her discoveries and what had happened. She crossed the dirt road and moved along the edge of the forest. There was enough of the porcupine's lingering scent for Poppy to find the trail that Aerith had used to go from his home to the field. For once, and it made her smile, she was grateful for the old fellow's stink. Plunging directly into Dimwood Forest, Poppy traveled slowly, methodically, taking the time for proper precautions. Now and again, she paused to absorb the lush view the way moonlight filtered through the fragrant air. A very tall tree, a particularly beautiful fern, a bush laden with blackberries as big as her head. When Poppy reached Aerith's log, she paused long enough to contemplate Mr. Okax's now abandoned snag. Who, she wondered, lived in it now? Aerith, she called into the log from the entryway. Are you home? Aerith! In response, there was some scratching and snorting deep within. Is that you, Aerith? Who the snail squirt is that? Came the growled reply. Can a creature have any privacy around here? Beat it, unless you want to eat a quill sandwich. Aerith, it's me, Poppy. Who? Don't you remember? Poppy! <gasps> Poppy, came the echo with more enthusiasm than before. A great rattling and shuffling could be heard. Then Eris's grisly flat face loomed out of the darkness. Is that really you, girl? Where is it? Where is what? The salt. Didn't you bring it? Aerith, it's about Mr. Okax. He... I don't give a flea's flip for that jerk of an owl. Where is the salt that you promised me? It's there, by Newhouse. It's all broken up on the ground. On the ground? Aerith shrieked. What's it doing there? Aerith, I couldn't carry it. And besides, on the ground? Great snail swoggle. It'll melt to nothing. The porcupine came barreling by so fast that Poppy had to leap aside. The next moment, he was all but running down the trail. Can I sleep here? Poppy called after him. Can't stop to talk, Aerith called back, and indeed he was gone. Poppy stepped into the log, lay down, and was asleep at once. She slept until the sun was high. When she woke, Aerith had not yet returned, so she went out, found some seeds, ate them, returned to the log, and slept again until dusk. This time when she awoke, Aerith was there. He was chewing in a roisterous, slobbering way on a chunk of salt. Hello, Poppy said. 
Aerith didn't even look up. Delicious. Best salt I ever had. He licked his lips. Awesome. Then you got some of it? Some of it? All of it. I'm just about ossified. This is the last bit. It was all pure, wonderful salt. Absolutely delicious. Amazing. Divine. Aerith? What's that? Did you see Mr. Okex? Oh yeah, I saw him. Dead. What happened? Poppy told him. The porcupine, though busy with the salt, slowed his slobbering to, a lis to listen. When Poppy finished her story, she asked Aerith, What do you think? Aerith shook his head. Never thought I'd appreciate that owl's hard head, but if, you, if what you say is true, it is. Well, I'm grateful he broke up the salt lick. Really, Poppy, it's incredible stuff. Want some? I mean, a small taste? Aerith, what's that? I'm going home now. May I come back and visit? Sure, Poppy, anytime. And bring some salt. I'm going now. Poppy? What? You're the salt of the earth. Poppy crossed Glitter Creek by using the bridge. The rest of the way she traveled by the side of Tar Road. By the time she reached Gray House, it was late. The first thing she noticed was that the red flag was flying. She climbed the porch steps slowly. Instead of going right inside, she took a peek. The entire family was gathered in the front parlor. Lungwart stood atop the old straw hat apparently in the middle of a speech. And so, dear friends, we will have to break up the family. Yes, disperse. Go our separate ways. Forage on our own. There is insufficient food for us here, but first I wish to engage in a brief memorial tribute to our full family, which... Poppy? Is that you, Poppy? She stepped inside, all the mice turned to stare. Poppy gazed at them evenly. Then she pulled the feather, Mr. Okax's feather, from her sash and held it aloft for all to see. Mr. Okax is dead, she said solemnly. And I can tell you that New House is right next to a big field of corn that has enough to feed all of us forever and ever. Ah, Poppy, Lungwort cried triumphantly. Didn't I say that if you listened to my advice, all would be well? And here, I don't know if you can see that in this light, but that's the picture. And that is the end of that chapter, boys and girls. So chapter 20 is called A New Beginning. And I, it's hard to tell on here. I think, actually, chapter... 20 is um, the last chapter, I believe. So I need to make a decision about what our next read aloud would be. And I have a couple of things I've always liked to um, read, but maybe we should read another book in this series. So I will let you know. But anyway, we do still have a chapter 20 to go. So I'll try and get that up tomorrow. And um, I miss you guys. Hope you're all well. And um, we'll see you soon.